evening, everybody. Joe Tessitore and Teddy Atlas welcoming you to a sold-out boardwalk hall in Atlantic City, New Jersey for tonight's main event. 12 rounds in the welterweight division. This should be a really good matchup here tonight. All that energy that we saw it almost boiled over at the weigh-in yesterday. Now it gets to explode here in the ring. Ward's almost giving you the feeling here that he's completely indifferent to all the pressure. I mean, this is a guy that's been there, done that, and he couldn't care less about the pressures that are in front of him. Sweet P, Pernell Whitaker's belief that he can overcome anything is showing through. He's bubbling over with confidence. Okay, guys, we went over the rules in the dressing room. Touch glove. Well, they're scheduled to go to full 12 here tonight. Round one now underway. Solid right by Irish. What are some of the adjustments that can typically be made halfway through a matchup like this of speed versus speed? Just to remind your charge your fighter that hey there's a lot more to this world to this fight than just speed why don't you start doing other things one little bit get the guy out of position a little bit get him into false moves up along the belt line blocks that one hey, hey, hey. Let's go out there now. Come on, tried now. to land that upstairs and was off the mark tucks those elbows in blocks the body shot keep doing what you're doing able to cover up that gut scored well up top Ninety seconds to go here in this round. A little something for his opponent after getting tagged. Keep moving, you got to see that coming. Attaboy, keep swinging, baby. Nice block by Ward. See him trying to cut down that tree with a well-placed right hand. He just missed that shot up top. A well-placed left hand up top. Pernell Whitaker's giving his opponent headaches here now. He's throwing punches, but he's able to block them away. Good flush shot upstairs. Oh, what an uppercut. Back to the body. Ten seconds remain in this round. Ford's got something to think about now. He just threw a punch and had one coming right back at him. His opponent scored well with the counter. Whitaker's putting on a display of accuracy, and the punch numbers tell that story. 
Got any more of these? I'll do one. Hold it. Hold it. Yeah. Beautiful, beautiful. I want another round exactly like that. This is here we go. Round two is underway. Blocks that belt line well. Gets rid of that body shot. Took a shot. Now he gives a left. Whitaker's defense is now serving him well. Nice job blocking that punch. Well, you can tell he's being patient, waiting for a countering opportunity. Teddy, what does he have to think about laying that trap? All he has to do is think a little bit tax season with my accountant. <laughs> I don't want to go into that office. You know, my accountant's standing at the door. He's waiting for me to come in there. I don't want, I want a rebate. And that's what he wants. He wants a rebate. He wants a counter. He's stepping back and he's waiting for the guy to come to him. So he's the one who gets his way. He gets hit, but he gives it right back. Right to the belt line. Oh, and he's fire with a halfway through round number two. Just to be here, Teddy, is one dimensional. The last thing you want to be in anything to be successful is one dimensional. I mean, if you're a comedian, you don't want to be saying the same jokes all the time. Your crowd's not going to be there. Well, your opponent is going to be there all night long if you do the same thing. That's a big hook to the head by Irish. Good looking right hand after he got hit. That was nice. He just punched from his opponent and then a good counter by Irish. Yeah, like running through the rain without that. Beautiful. Good job staying away from the danger there. Come on, get Good block by Pernell Whitaker. Good counter punch. I loved how he moved off to the side and landed it. Yeah, that's real smart. That's something that you teach in the gym and you love when you see it executed. End of the round. And that was a very good example of how to be efficient with what you're doing. Yeah, it's a good example of how, as you say, Joe, he doesn't waste anything. You know, he wants to make everything count, but it gives hope that the other guy can come back because there's spots where you can out-hustle. While he's being so conservative, you could just outwork him a little. Number three is underway. Come on, stay away from those. Come on, now. Uh. Oh, and he's got something for him himself, and it's a left hand. See, the defense pays off as he gets rid of that downstairs. <laughs> Trying to time that straight left hand, and he does so with ease. And that's what fighters do. Pulls the trigger right away after taking one.
missed that uppercut. Blocks that punch. And coming upon the halfway mark of this three-minute round. His opponent wanted the body. He wouldn't give it to him. He missed with that headshot. Come on, get fucked! Back to the body! He missed by a mile. That wasn't even close by war. It's all right, keep moving. Move. Just ate a big uppercut. Big shot there. He goes down. Oh, he may be close here. Can he survive the round? Ward's corner needs to really get to their man after this round. They need to treat him after that knockdown. They also need to give him some sound advice. What's the advice you give him? Well, first of all, if they're going to get a chance to get to him, he better move his head. But the advice I would give him is, hey, you go out this next round and you kill some time. Tie him up a little bit right from the beginning. Don't worry about losing the early part of the fight or the early part of the round. Just get yourself back together. Keep it up, keep it up. That's it, now. Nice work out there. Keep fighting smart and keep busy. Don't take a break with this guy. You're doing fine. He's just beating you to the punch. Start of round number four as we look at Teddy's scorecard. Whitaker's knockdown is a big difference maker here. And that's the thing. He has the power to separate himself a little bit in this fight. His opponent doesn't have that. He's in a good rhythm defensively here. Teddy, what is that, a credit to his ability to anticipate? You know, also, it's the teaching. Let's give the trainers credit. Of course, let's give his background of the amateurs credit, but he learned how to get away from punches. This is technique that was taught to him. <laughs> nice, solid left hand scored by Pernell Whitaker. And now just wasting everybody's time holding on. A huge uppercut by Irish. Just still not move. And he returns on that exchange. Whitaker's cheek is cut. You can see it's opening up now. Boy, that could be a factor later on. Ward's well off the mark that time. Halfway through this round. He scored well after being hit himself. Move your head. Able to dismiss that body shot. Good right hand. Pernell Whitaker's way off the mark. That punch didn't have a chance. Good exchange. He fires back. Nice 
work. Nice work. Wow. Late goings here this round, and he goes down. Can he survive it? the fight. Irish is not going to hear from those judges. He's a knockout victim. Teddy, the do here, but help me with this.